Good morning everybody, this is North Carolina Prepper. I was asked the other day by a user by the name of, uh, I think it was Mockingbird uh, 1313. Incidentally, I believe that's the Munsters address in the old TV show, The Munsters, 1313 Mockingbird Lane. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. I caught that. Anyway, I was asking about my, uh, how I would test it everything. And basically, I've got a USB uh, multimeter. And, um, you go ahead and just insert these in there because, excuse me, because it's just too hard to get my voltmeter leads in there and test it. So what I did is I took the multimeter, go ahead and put that on there. Crud. Alright, sorry. And you just go ahead and insert it. And it'll power up and tell you everything you need. So, <clears throat> we're at 5.1 volts, no amps right now. So when I go ahead and plug in the Raspberry Pi, it will change that. To the, the amount of power and everything it's going to pull. It's booting right now. You can see it's going up, the power's fluctuating a little bit. And it'll stabilize here in just a moment. Once it's done doing it, boot up my Octopi on here, which and this is a Raspberry Pi 3. So, those who are hanging are the any amps. Um, yeah, 0.21, so. Not even pulling an amp right now, I mean, it's stable. Now, once the Wi Fi kicks on, it'll probably go up a little bit more. And it's got a history of how much it used over here. Well, here, actually, you can just see how much it works. Got this on Amazon. Uh, it wasn't much. It was, uh, you know, it was a couple of dollars. So, that's what they're called. I'll put a link below. But they're pretty neat. I use a lot. Um,. Just to test things for general purposes and how much they're going to pull. Uh, that way I know how much I'm going to need. Also, I guess I got the camera turned on too. So, that plus the camera is uh, pulling for the USB camera and the Octopi. So, the Octopi needs this much to run on a, on a, on a uh, Raspberry Pi 3.0. I'll put a link below, but it's basically it's just a USB multimeter. It's good for doing diagnostics and seeing, like, like you said, if you don't know how long it'll run, like when we ran the Raspberry Pi repeater, um, I would tell you how many hours it would run on the Raspberry Pi, and then whatever the radios took, that's, you know, that's going to change all the time, so I can't say, but, but in standby mode, like, if you don't have an email message database or whatever, or if I want to have the Raspberry Pi run by solar, I know I can do it at, uh, you know, 21, or uh, 20, uh, 20, what was that, 20 milliamps, or 200 milliamps, I guess. Anyway, under an amp, so one amp solar panel would be just fine for everything. And like I said, it's got the Wi-Fi going down and everything else, so you could set up a, a hidden cache for a data cache or something if you wanted to. Whatever. But the point is, it's a multimeter for USB devices. It's really neat. I don't think it works for USB 3. Um, no, this one doesn't, but the USB 3 has different connections. But there you go. That's that's the gist of it. All right. Have a great one, everybody. Put the camera out.